provide and protect. Those are the core tenets, the fundamentals of masculinity. There is no evolving this. There is just the attempt to manipulate it. And that's what we're getting from this GQ article with Pharrell. Because I saw him in the dress. I saw GQ talking about new masculinity. And I, I, I he, he, let's go. Let go. Pharrell on evolving masculinity and spiritual warfare. God, this is so pretentious. This is written by Will Welch and Micaiah Carter. Well, that's Micaiah's taking the pictures of this tacky ass wardrobe. Like, like they, they say they go on to describe him as a futurist. Um, wait, it's right down there. Pushing the ma pushing the masculinity conversation forward with one of pop culture's most influential futurists. I will admit, I like nerd. I like a lot of the beats that he did, particularly when it um when they were doing beats for Capone and Noriega. Uh, but seriously, man, nah, fam, you you don't get to like. <laughs> As an individual, as an industry, as a nation, as a family, you don't get to turn these what's names on their head, these um concepts on their head. And a big part of the reason that we're having a lot of the, um, I guess, backlash or, you know, violence sparking is because of a lack of masculinity or, or this idea that, oh, my goodness, well, you know, we can it's the whole gender idea where, oh, yeah, we can manipulate these um, these young boys and turn them into girls and all this other nonsense that is only serving to weaken our nation and our people. So let's get into this. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, what's this? Welcome to GQ's new masculinity issue an exploration of the ways that traditional notions of masculinity are being challenged, overturned and evolved. No, you're, you're it's, it's literally a child throwing a tantrum. That's all this represents. Because at the end of the day, we have our base, we, we do have baseline instincts that are biological, that the that society and culturally have been manipulated for, you know, way longer than I've been alive. The instant I joined Pharrell Williams and his wife, Helen, in the lobby of the Hotel George V and the Fifth in Paris, my, in Paris, my day becomes suddenly fric frictionless. The hotel door whooshes open. We step out and on into an idling black Mercedes Sprinter van. It glides off. We slide out at the... Okay, this is... This is so pretentious. This is something to dress. Seriously. Just, it looks like a... Da is that a down? It looks like... <laughs> it looks like you took hella first downs and just stitched them together. Alright, whatevs. Inside the museum, they are waiting for us. Pharrell has to come to Paris to launch an anime-inspired collaborative installation with Mr., a Japanese artist associated with Takashi Muramai's uh, Kakikiki Ko. I don't care about any of this. Let's get to the whole masculinity stuff. Pharrell has been an agent to change his whole career when he broke into the public consciousness about 20 years ago. As a producer and then frontman for of Nerd, he looked different from everyone else in hip-hop, wearing slimmer jeans, more fitted skate tees, and, um, and mesh trucker hats. And that might not sound earth-shattering now, but a whole generation of young African-American misfits, even though I, I, I'd check... Uh, Mr. Williams lineage there uh, will tell you that for Williams was the first time they saw themselves in pop culture. Are you, are you, are you, what? Who, who, who says this? <clears throat> I, I, I'm, I'm curious. Who says this? Oh my goodness. The first time I saw F Pharrell Williams was the first time I saw myself in pop culture. A weirdo called Skateboard P who stood confidently apart from rap's monolithic archetype. A nerd who made being different feel cool. Uh, as he created hit after hit, Pharrell's wardrobe continued to morph. He special ordered a custom made... And that's the thing. Like, they say, oh, he's an icon and all. I ain't never seen nobody walking around in that gigantic hat his ass was wearing or, like, really any of the other things. And you're talking about making skinny jeans popular? Like, yo, they, I'm telling you, they was on this long before he came around. He's the one that put white people up on it, I, I, I assume. But... <laughs> he's so effeminate. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. He is so effeminate. There, this is not the person that you follow for masculinity. This is someone you follow to basically green light your, um, you know, your, your, your homosexual proclivities. And hey, I'm not knocking anybody for it, but stop sitting here saying, oh yeah, this is a, the new masculinity. Nope. Nah. Pharrell's wardrobe. Oh, and another thing. Well, Pharrell gets women. Money, bruh. Money. Let's not pretend, oh, well, because Pharrell can get, like, because like, he's married. Of course, he has money. Chicks will put up with whatever they can in order to get, in order to secure the bag. Make no mistake. So when it comes to, oh, well, yeah, this, um, like, the, 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 the females respond to it. Mm, they, they they respond to the cash not like he could sit here and just like he could fart in her mouth actually if you know anything about the instagram models a lot of them go to dubai and just like let rich arab princes like completely defecate down their throats and they are forced to have sex with goats and stuff <laughs> for what for money and that's all this is Pharrell's wardrobe. Okay, I don't care about any of this crap. Let's go on. Let's let's see. In plain here, I was reading past. I don't care about what he's doing there. Am I soundtracking it at all? When we were talking, walking to a museum, this cutest little girl. I don't care. I don't care. Ah, when we said we want you to be on the cover of the new masculinity issue. Why did you say yes? Okay, yeah, this is good. Well, when it comes to having this conversation, I don't necessarily know that the masculinity is new as much as the conversation is new. Yeah, because you guys are a minute trying to manipulate the conversation, trying to say all this, you know, uh, that all these feminine things can be classified under the masculine. And unfortunately, no, that's number one. But I think that it's a way it's a way that I can speak up at a time when we're in the middle of of a spiritual plight, a spiritual war. When people are online, they have their real identity. <clears throat> then they have like a nickname, right? So what, is this just about the internet? The avatar, yeah. It gives them this ability to be whoever they want to be. It's a spirit because they're no longer defined by the physical. The responsible, yeah, yeah, they are, for real. You're, 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 you will be defined by your physical, no matter what. The real world matters. The real world matters a whole lot more than the internet. Now, I'm going to be legit about this. I respect people who've been able to make a, you know, living for themselves online. I In the feminism video that I did, like, probably a couple weeks back, I was pointing out how, you know, real life strippers, as opposed to the girls that work online, and the differences between how like the real life girls they were dressed conservatively they were speaking very you know um blatantly very um very cohesion uh, cogent they were very cogent in their thoughts as opposed to the online girls who were a, bo a bit more boisterous completely covered from neck to from head to toe in tattoos and i can see how with the expand with the with the internet and the expansion of people on the internet like just so many people that use it um, how, you know, you can cultivate yourself a following and, you know, basically be able to live as you please. And I'm all for that. I really am. But to try and spread it into the real world as if those rules are going to the real world is going to change rules for you. That's something completely different. Uh, the responsibility, uh, the responsibilities of being connected to all that is online. Your spirit is free to be whatever it wants to be. And what you, what do you see online? Freaking warfare. Nah, not really. I mean, there's no war on this channel. Oh, I've never thought about it in those. Okay, so this person is just uh, kissing behind because they're in front of a celebrity. It happens a lot. This, the, it's so damn tacky. Like that's the thing. It'd be one thing if like his futuristic stuff was actually fly. But it's so damn tacky. It's hard to pray online. Whatever. Um, you privilege the uplifting people who are under attack. Yeah, but I'm not like an activist. Uh, I think my opinion is. I don't think my opinion is everything. I know anyone else's. I don't know anyone else's plight. You, you're damn right. You're part of the Holly Weird. Um, gender. There were gender fluid. Uh, uh the Holly Weird. Um, class. <laughs> There were gender fluid elements in the way you dress long before it became a national conversation. Uh -huh. Who cares? What uh, wasn't the other rapper like? He, then he wear a dress on his um on his what's name on his album cover. So seriously, this guy 
wearing dresses and stuff like that. Like, honestly, there's nothing new. Before that, well, we had Medea, we had Wanda from um, Jamie Foxx and his Wanda character. I mean, <clears throat> cross-dressing has been, you know, a, a thing for a very long time. Just, but you're saying here, like, oh my goodness, this is so futuristic. Oh, single tear. Oh my goodness. You know what this reminds me? <laughs> it reminds me of the, the 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 commercial from back in the day where the car would be driving down the road and it would throw some um it would throw some litter out and the car would drive past and the camera would stop and on an Indian and a single tear would come down his eye. Ah, come on, <laughs> stop it. Yo, you know what? I, I, I'm done. I don't even feel okay. Hold on, hold on. When did things shift for you? As you said, it's not the masculinity that's new. It's the conversation which really kicked off with hashtag meets. Okay, so let's see how he's embarrassed by blur, by blurred lines. <clears throat> Pharrell says he's embarrassed by blurred lines. In a new interview with GQ, Pharrell explains how he's personally reckoned with the popular and controversial song. Uh, some of my old songs. Hold on. Okay, let's read the whole thing. GQ's November cover star Pharrell Williams has a nearly unparalleled string of fits stretching across multiple decades. There's party playlist sample frontin' from the Neptunes era. Nerd produced five albums worthy worth of bangers, and you can't ignore Happy, a top five earworm that no one can deny, even if you try. But Blurred Lines, Pharrell's 2013 duet, a sort of 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 a sort, was criticized for perpetuating rape. <laughs> forced entry culture when it was released and has only fallen further in infamy since and during his cover G interview for gq's new masculinity issue pharrell explained how he's grappled with the ramifications of the six-year-old track oh my god oh didn't it get sued by al green's people because they used um they because they used they sampled his song but I mean, I think that was the bigger controversy. Not oh, this is this is doing um, this is uh, uplifting uh, smash culture or uh, forced entry culture. Here's the deal: do if you listen to music from just way back in the day, there's this, like the song "Painted Black," right? Um, he's talking about yeah, I have to turn my head when I see the young girls walking in their summer dresses, cause you know that devil gonna come out. <laughs> Yo, when it comes to messaging, let the artist create. Let the artist put out their art. You know, I, I really can't stand it. But here he is tucking his vagina between his legs. Some of my old songs I would never write or sing today. I get embarrassed by some of that stuff. It just took a lot of time and growth to get to that place. I think Blurred Lines opened me up. I didn't get it at first because they there were older white women who, when the song came on, they would behave in some of the most surprising ways ever. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah she was ready to jump off. Oh no. Very surprising when you have tons of money, alcohol, and drugs flowing around by all means means and i would be like wow they would have me blushing so God, no this is not the person to talk to about masculinity this is not the person to talk to about masculinity so when there started to be an issue with it lyrically i was like what are you talking about there are women who really like the song and connect to the energy that just that just gets you up and i know you want it women sing those types of lyrics all the time so it's like what's forced entry about that and then i realized that there are men who use that same language when taking advantage of a woman and you just said women use that language when taking it when and it doesn't matter that that's not my behavior it really does because you're only responsible for yourself or the way i think about things it once again you are responsible for you it just matters how it affects women how how and, and from what you just said the women were affected rather positively and apparently started jumping off with each other right in front of you and you was blushing like a schoolgirl. oh my goodness and i was like got it i get it cool my mind opened up to what was actually being said in the song and how it can make someone feel feel you gotta worry about the feelings oh no it's such an emotion it's emotional trauma why is there so much emotional trauma in the world? Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, this man bleeds once a month, I promise you. Even though it wasn't the majority, it didn't matter. I cared what they were feeling too. I realized that we live in a chauvinistic culture in our country. 
patri the patriarchy loves its daughters. Okay, remember that. Hadn't realized that. Didn't realize that some of my songs cater to that. So that blew my mind. Like, come on, man. This, uh, golly, Pharrell, your weak sauce, bro. I, I mean, and it's cool. Like, I'm not knocking you for it, but what I am going to say is that you have no space to speak on masculinity, bro at all it's it's just not your wheelhouse you could tell by how effeminate you are how fem, how effeminate you come across this isn't that that's not your space oh it's toxic masculinity oh my goodness how we were making people feel oh like let me tell you something if you ain't dead if you ain't bleeding you i okay it, 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 and if anybody did sit there listen to that song was like you know what I'm going to go and force entry a chick tonight. Then you know what? That's on them. And this guilt. Oh my goodness. I, I participated in this culture. Oh, like, come on, man. Miss me. Miss me with it. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. Mm, pardon me. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead, do that too. I'm not scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to give videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch shooting like they don't like me like that. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. <sighs> Come on, man. Seriously, this is ridiculous, Pharrell. I, I I personally don't think he has the space to speak on any of this. Would it be, would it surprise me if he's had his booty hole play with one one time or two? Nope, not at all. And so. <laughs> <laughs> so like i say all the time these holly weird cats man they are not the people to follow they are not the people to listen to because trust me they're dealing with their own shit and uh, and they're usually just taking cues from somebody else they're usually just you know whatever masses say man they got a good they're gonna buck up and do whatever it is that they're told they're not doing anything that they genuinely believe or they genuinely feel or even if they do genuinely feel that way trust me nine times out of ten it's completely misguided, but you may feel differently. And that's what my comment sections are for. So until the next one.